Well, hello again. It's been a little while since uh, since I've made a video, but I've waited for a while because mm, there hasn't been a lot of interest going on, and uh, we're to a stage now where there's actually something to see. I spent a lot of time running wiring and um, gas lines and plumbing, so that's almost done. So we'll show where we're up to now. As you can see from the outside, <coughs> uh, we now have our awning up. I've just had that up a little bit this afternoon to keep a bit of rain out. It's been a bit of drizzle. and um, But that comes out around about eight feet, so it'll be really nice, uh, give really nice coverage and nice area for outside. So we've got an outdoor picnic table here which folds down. I finished the, uh, the toolbox on the front. Um, in this section we'll have two, two gas bottles, the um, a jerry can with some diesel and that's the um, fuel tank for the little diesel heater and on this side this is pretty cool We've got uh, a Weber barbecue out here so we'll do most of our cooking outside so this makes it really easy just to have it where we where we need it and um, I've just fitted a bayonet fitting here this afternoon so there'll be a hose coming from the Weber be able to hook it straight in there make it very easy to use so let's have a look inside so things have probably changed a bit since the last video in here I can't quite remember exactly where we were at um, so the upholstery is off being done at the moment so behind the bed will be upholstered with leather uh, the cupboards here were done, but we've now got uh, lights everywhere and uh, they're, they're really quite nice and they all the lights in the, um, in the van dim as well. So we've got a hatch overhead and the air conditioner is in. Uh, we've got our little um, fans on and uh, there's a aerial wind-up aerial for the television there. The television will go on the wall over there on a bracket so we'll be able to swing around but I guess probably the most exciting thing for us is to have the kitchen almost finished here um, the bench tops and the um, and the sink are just sitting in place but we've got our little cupboards to get access to underneath there and um, in the rest of the kitchen put drawers in we found in our last caravan and also our kitchen at home much better to have everything in drawers than in cupboards so the fridge is in this will make a nice work a little let's have a look here this will make a nice work surface um, there's not that much not that much surface area on the kitchen but um, that's just that's just what you get with a smaller van this suits us fine because the the, um, the glass top on the um, cooker can be used as a bench top, bench space when you're not using it. Um, so we've got three gas burners in there and a grill and also an electric element when we're in a caravan park. <coughs> At the moment the, the van is running completely off grid. Um, I've got a solar panel on the roof as well now which is charging the batteries. I'll just show you quickly in the bathroom, not a lot to see here. I'll just pop the window in today. Um, we've got a couple of lights in here as well. There'll be a basin on top of the cupboard there with um, obviously with a door on there and then the shower in this that corner. But that'll be over the next couple of weeks getting that done. So under the seats here we've got um, 240 amp hour AGM deep cycle batteries and on this side we have a um, uh, Red Arc battery management system and what that does it um, has two 40 volt charging when you're using mains power it's got a solar controller in there as well <coughs> and also a DC to DC charging when, we, um, when we've got it plugged into the car so it uses that space under there um, which you, know, you don't really want to be lifting up cushions to get under there too often uh, under this side here I've still got to finish under here We've got uh, the uh, pump for the hot water for the um, for the water system. Uh, there'll be a little accumulator tank in there as well, 
and in front of that is the hot water service. So I've got the um, hoses running up from the twin water tanks there and uh, I've just finished running the gas lines today. There'll be a gas fitter coming to finish that off and certify it for us. But um, most of those run and uh, the same with the, uh, the 240 volt electric. Um, that will be just coming out in here and there will be a circuit breaker box will be up in the up in the cupboard there for when we're I say when we've got power in the caravan park. Um, oh, just bits and pieces in there while I'm finishing off. What I have had to do, um, those that have seen the videos from the beginning, um, there was no I didn't make any provision for running wiring because I didn't really know exactly what we were going to do at the time. So all around the van now we have this square conduit which um, it's, it does a good job and it's reasonably neat. It covers the, uh, so the, you know, these lighting, the lighting runs in here. We've got wiring running around to run all of the, um, all of the uh, 12 volt electrics. Uh, next to our beds here we've got a couple of little couple little bedside tables now. We didn't build the, the base of the cupboard in because it's pointless. It's just somewhere to put some shoes and kick things out of place. Um, a small cupboard makes it very hard to get down there. Got USB charging on uh, on both sides here. And on the other side we've got uh, charging for a diesel heater. Now I fitted the diesel heater and got it running last night so that's under the bed here. So I've just got to finish tidying up the wiring and build a little box around there so things don't slide into it when we're, when we're underway. But I tell you, we had that on last night. Um, had to run it for two hours initially just to run it in. And it was fantastic in here. It's going to make it very, very nice for, um, um, yeah, for free camping when we're, uh, you know, when we, basically what it'll do, it'll enable us to be able to go away at winter time as well and uh, keep warm I mean it's winter at the moment we have nice days but the nights are, are pretty cool look that's probably about it for today um, probably not a, not a lot else to, to show you uh, the wiring is has taken a long time and uh, running all of the um, running all the lights and uh, up in up in this cupboard here Got switch panels for um, for lights and water, and television, that kind of thing, with circuit breakers. Uh, still needs a little bit of tidying up in there. But as you can see, for a, for a caravan, things are, are not as simple as they used to be years ago. So, but um, I think that'll probably do for today. In the next couple of weeks, I hope to be finished in about five or six weeks' time. So. I'll do another one, maybe two videos, and that, that would just about be it. So, for now that's over and out for me. And um, once I've got the bathroom done and a few other things finished off, we can just about make a final couple of videos of the build.